We often take our gut for granted. A nine metre long stretch of organs, it's not just a conveyor belt for breaking down food. The digestive tract reacts to our emotional state, protects us against constant exposure to harmful substances, extracts nutrients, processes medicines, provides a home for a population of good bacteria which outnumber our own body cells and is controlled by a network of 500 million nerves which some have described as the body's second brain. For the most part, it does all these things very well and without complaint. But for those with inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, the gut can cause a lot of discomfort and unhappiness and make us unwell when it becomes inflamed for a long period of time. Short-term inflammation is a normal part of our immune system's response to danger, which could be anything from a physical wound to food poisoning, flu or even a tumour. Immune cells in the gut lining respond by setting off chemical signals, alarm bells that bring in many white blood cells from the bloodstream. These cells deal with danger, but can also damage the gut wall. Once the danger has passed, however, these cells clean up the mess, heal any injury and return the gut to its normal healthy state. So, at the Centre for Inflammation Research, we want to know, why doesn't the inflamed gut heal in Crohn's and colitis? And can we understand this in order to find better treatments and ways to keep our patients well? Recent research has shown that cells in the gut wall in patients with Crohn's and colitis are very different. They are constantly switched on in an inflamed state. These cells stay in the gut wall, causing damage over and over again, worsening the overall situation. Current treatments such as biologics disrupt inflammatory chemical signals or suppress the immune cells themselves. This reduces inflammation, but doesn't fully lead to healing of the gut in many of our patients with Crohn's and colitis. We hope to combine this anti-inflammatory approach with new treatments that encourage the cleaning up, the repair of the gut. We need to better understand these mechanisms in order to develop tests and treatments that remove the roadblock to gut repair and help us to return the gut to health. Whether it is caused by our genes, changes in gut bacteria, the world we live in and what we eat, an immune system that is too active, or a combination of these, we are working towards finding new ways to heal the inflamed gut in all patients, importantly in both children and adults with Crohn's and colitis. If you want this too, why not get involved? If you suffer with inflammatory bowel disease, consider signing up for clinical studies we are running or taking part in our patient involvement projects where you can help in our exciting patient groups and share your opinions on our research. If you're a researcher looking to work with us or if you're interested in supporting our research from fundraising, please visit the Gut Research Unit website here at the Centre for Inflammation Research to find out more.